Hey everyone, Jesse here. Welcome back to the Ultra Tech channel. On today's video, I will show you my preferred method of adding a network printer with a static IP. I have referenced doing this on my video on networking and security and on my video on network attached storage on setting up a scan to network. Let's get started. The benefits of having your printer on the network instead of just using a USB cable to connect it to your computer is that you're able to print from any computer, tablet, or phone on your network. If you set up scanning to network, you can also send your scans directly to your network drives, such as the ones that you would get from your network attached storage or from a shared folder that's on a computer on your network. If you simply connect an network ethernet cable to the back of the printer it will get an IP with a DHCP lease but I prefer to always give printers a static IP as that is the best practice for printers. To accomplish today's task we will enter our router settings to reserve the first 10 IPs as static IPs so the DHCP in our router does not hand these IP addresses out to other devices. After we reserve some IPs, we will connect our printer to the network, perform a scan on our network to find our printer's IP address to manage, and from a web browser, we're gonna connect to the printer using this IP address. As an example, we will be using the 182.168.1.0 with a 255.255.255.0 without with our default gateway of 192.168.1.1. If you don't understand this, just follow my lead. The first thing you need to do is find your router or gateway model number. You will either have one given by your ISP or one you have bought yourself from the store. If you have one from your internet service provider, you may just need to log in to their website and manage your router through there. For example, if you have an Optimum gateway or router, you log in to optimum.net. Under network, you go to manage my network and from here you click edit under LAN setup or local area network setup. In this section, we want to change the portion of the starting IP address from 192.168.1.1 and change the last portion to .11 and hit save. I already have the first few reserved, but you'll be able to change the first number and select save if you haven't done this change yet. If you have purchased your own router, Google the model number of your router. As an example, we're going to search for ASUS GTAX11000 default router login. As you can see from this website, we see that by default, the router has an IP address of 182.168.1.1. The username is admin and password is admin by default. What we need to do is type this address on your web browser from a computer that is on the same network. My personal IPs are different here in this example, but if you have the defaults, it should match the results from our previous search of 192.168.1.1. After you log in, head to the LAN section and under DHCP, we want to change the starting IP to 192.168.9.1.1. And making this change will guarantee those first two to 10 are being reserved. Hit apply and you're done with this section. Now we wanna physically connect an ethernet cable to the back of the printer. On one end, the ethernet cable will be connected to your router and on the other end to the printer. Usually after the light starts flashing in green above the port, it means that the connection is now established. There are three ways we can find the IP of the printer. On the screen of the printer, you can find the setting and under networking, you should be able to see what IP address it has been assigned. 
The second method will be logging into your router's management console and under network map, you will see a list of all your devices with their IP addresses. Look for the vendor name of your printer. Since I have an HP printer, it shows up as HP Inc. A third method is running a scanner like Angry Scanner that will scan your local network for all devices that are online. This will give you some clues to what device vendor is getting that IP. Whatever method you use, once you have the IP address of the printer, you want to type it into a web browser so you can connect to the management options of the printer. Here you want to find the networking section, wired, IPv4 configuration, and change the option from DHCP to manual or static IP. Here for an IP address, enter one of the addresses we reserved. As an example, we will be using 192.168.1.2 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and our default gateway as 192.168.1.1. For DNS, I like to set the address of the router gateway. So if you have the option, enter again, 192.168.1.1. Save the settings and you're all set. Now, if you type in this new address, 192.168.1.2, you will be able to manage the printer settings this way and you have set it up with a static IP. I hope this video helps some of you with setting up a static IP on your network printer. Feel free to comment if you have any questions on this and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if this video has helped you out. Until next time.